and let's see if it picks up a new IP address. So just switching back a bit towards the map layout, we can see this has now changed a little bit. So we have our Unify switch plugged, so the camera is plugged into port 2. We have our Wi-Fi access point and we can actually now see my desktop is connected to the Wi-Fi access point. So the more devices you have connecting, this topology will grow and grow and grow. Hi everyone, my name is Cindy and welcome to the Home Automation X channel. Thank you for watching. Now this video is about Ubiquiti Networks and their complete Unify setup. We will be talking to our expert about the Unify Dream Machine Pro Gateway Switch, along with their Unify Mesh Access Points and their security cameras. I will have to admit, I am by far not an expert on Ubiquiti Networks or their Unify cameras and access points, but I found someone who is. His name is Monty and he comes from Inside Wire. Now you might be wondering, who is Monty? Well, there is no better way than to let him say that for himself while he discusses the Ubiquiti Complete Network Setup. Hi Cindy, thanks for having me back again. It's great to be here. In this video today, we're gonna to be looking at Ubiquiti's complete setup of their Unify products. So how these all link in together. If your viewers like what they see, my link is down in the description below where I have a full Ubiquiti playlist. They can go ahead and check that out. Hey everyone, welcome to Inside Wire. Today we continue with our Ubiquity series by me showing you how easy it is to set up a network from start to finish. This will include setting up a Wi-Fi network and a LAN network using VLANs. In this video, today we'll be using the following products. We'll be using a UDM Pro, 24 port switch, an AC Pro Wi-Fi access point, and a G3 Flex camera. I have, however, already covered the setup and configuration of the UDM Pro and the G3 Flex camera. So if you want to look at how these are done, the links will be on the screen now and they are also in the description below. As always, please subscribe to my channel for more great Ubiquity and tech content. The links for all the products we are using today are in the description below. If you want to purchase them or even have a look at them, please check out my Amazon affiliate links below. Anyway, let's jump straight in. So let's go to unify.ui.com. I am already logged into this, so it's gonna bring me straight to the page. It's telling me in the top right hand corner that I've found some new devices that I've plugged in, which is to be expected. So let's click on the UDM Pro. That gives us the options for protect, access, talk, and network. So let's go into network. Just gonna full screen. So let's have a quick look at the devices that we have plugged into the network. So we already have the UDM Pro connected and set up. We have plugged in a 24 port switch and a Unify AC access point. So before we go further, the first thing we wanna do is adopt the devices. So we'll start by adopting the 24 port switch. So we'll click adopt. We can see now that it is connected so it goes along it it connects up it adopts it restarts and then kicks back into life we have the option to locate the switch so you can click on locate and you'll see the light on the switch itself flashing we then have the option to restart the switch and upgrade so if we want to upgrade it to the latest uh, firmware and set and configuration files we can do that we're now going to adopt the wireless access point so we will click adopt let that run in the background. So now you can see the AC Pro is now connected up as well. We have the same options. We can locate the access point. It is already up to date, so we don't have the update option or we can restart it. So you're probably wondering, I haven't actually shown you how I connected this all up and set it all up. I'm actually gonna show you that now on the map. So let's click on map on the left hand side. And now this gives you a quick diagram. I'm just gonna push that up because we're not really focused on the bottom part too much. Um, we're more interested in the bottom. So we've got the Unified Dream Machine connected into the 24 port switch. We then have the access point plugged into the 24 port switch. We have a machine and we have um, a camera plugged in main ones that we're interested in at the moment is the access point and the camera and the switch. 
So you can actually take a look at the link labels also, which show you what ports they're plugged into. So you can see this is plugged into port one in the UDM switch, this is plugged into port 24, and this is plugged into port 13. So now we have the network set up and ready, we're gonna go into the configuration. So if we go to settings now, you can see on the left hand side we have a wide range of options. You may be greeted with something a little bit different initially, you might be actually greeted with classic mode, which looks a little something like this. Um, however, we're gonna go with the new setup and we're gonna look at this. So I'm gonna run you through some of the settings on the left hand side. I could probably spend a good few hours talking about all these settings here, but uh, we'll save that for another video. Uh, so let's start with the top one. We have the Wi-Fi uh, settings where you would set up your network, group, schedules. Uh, Wi-Fi AI, this is something that's in beta at the moment. This actually determines the best channels for your access points. Uh, then we move on to internet, which is just general settings and WAN, WAN networks. We then have networks, which talks about your local networks. This is where you can set up additional subnets and VLANs. We then have hotspots, which you can set up for guest access. So you can actually allow them to accept terms of service, authenticate, provide them a voucher. Even you can actually charge people to use your Wi-Fi if that's what you want to do for your business or if you're a cafe, hotel, it's quite good for that. Um, internet security. I think we briefly touched on this on a, on a previous video. So threat management, um, DPI, content filtering, this is something that's still in alpha. Um, this allows you to go in and add content filtering um, for security, family safety or adult content or specific websites. You can block them out from your network. Uh, we have some advanced settings here. We'll leave that for now. Um, we can add a whitelist. Uh, so if you know there are specific IPs or websites that you want to allow through, you can do that. And we then have a firewall where you can have your inbound outbound rules between guest, um, WAN, LAN, however you want to set this up and allow specific ports through. Uh, we then have some settings for VPN, uh, gateways, so this is from static routes, DHCP, dynamic DNS, port forwarding, UPnP, then we have configuration profiles where you can create your switch ports, client groups, you can actually limit um, download and upload limits for different parts of your network, even wireless networks. So going back to the hotspot, um, if you have a guest network and you want to charge people for it, but you want to limit the bandwidth, you can do that. You also have a radius server. This is to allow authentication um, with a username and password. Uh, we have some preferences along here. Uh, some alerts, so we have events, you can actually set up events relating to various bits in your network. So for example, an access point, if we click on here, if we have a rogue AP detected, it will log the event. I want it to alert me, email me and push, um, push a notification to my app. We have some more further settings on here. Some more network settings, so location, time, uh, make sure you're set to your current zone and NTPs, if you want to add in a new time server, you could do that here. Network optimizations. This helps some of the performance of your network. Um, you can turn that on or off. And let's have a quick look in advance. So you have some syslogs, uh, net console, and some advanced features if required. Uh, then we move into updates. So general, we can check for updates. So this was the last time I checked for an update on my machine, um, which was probably sometime this morning. Uh, we had some firmware, so we can actually auto upgrade or you can schedule your upgrades in. This is where we are and what firmware versions you're on. And advanced, you can actually turn on private release channels with your Ubiquiti account. So you can turn this on, you'd have to log in and then you would select what release channel you want to be on. Then we look down finally at controller settings. Again, I think I've been over this on a previous video, but we have the version, unify server, some maintenance tasks in here. Um, backup and advanced configurations. So let's start by creating our Wi-Fi network. Uh, in this we would go to create network, advanced, let's type in a Wi-Fi name. So let's go demo Wi-Fi network. We want to enable this network. 
we keep it to WPA personal, we can keep the encryption on. Let's create a key. The rest of it really is just additional extras if you want to configure anything specific. So let's look at guest policies if you want to create the Wi-Fi for guest access. Uh, this is where I was talking about the, the hotspot area just here. It's where you can set that sort of thing, those up. Um, you can refresh the shared secret between the device every hour. You can hide the SSID. Not going to go through all of these, but this is where you would configure your VLAN. So where we've configured VLAN 99, that's what we want to use. We want this to use VLAN 99. And let's keep going down. There's some additional settings here and let's click done. So we'll give that a couple of minutes. That will then go off and get itself set up. So the setting actually is behind me now. If I turn around and say create new Wi-Fi network is actually on this side just here behind me. So it's actually right there. So if I swing out the way there, you can actually see it says network. Just swinging in the way there you go. So it says create Wi-Fi network and you just click on that button just there. So let's go and have a look at the Wi-Fi network. Um, my settings are actually on the other screen, so I'm just bringing across a quick screenshot for you. You can see we have the demo Wi-Fi network set up here. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and join that while we're waiting. I might get disconnected from uh, the UDM, pro uh, the Unify program in the background. So let's just have a quick look. Let's jump onto that network and then I'm gonna show you the IP address we have received. So if I bring in a command prompt and we type in IP config, let's just move this out of the background, we don't need this. So if I type in IP config, you can actually see um, you can actually see we have received a 10.99.1.239 address and our gateway is in that default network. So this is actually really good. So we've used a VLAN 99, we've picked up a DHCP address from that and we are now have our gateway set. So with that, you're actually able to create uh, different networks uh, using different VLAN settings um, to segregate your network. So if you have, um, it's probably a bit overkill for a house or maybe some people might find it not, but if you wanna segregate your CCTV away from your normal network or you wanna segregate your guest access away from your normal network or any other devices, on a different type of network away from your general house network or office, you can do that. So given the example I just gave a couple of seconds ago, let's try and set up our CCTV G3 Flex on a different VLAN so it is away from the 10.99.1 uh, network. So let's just move this out of the way. We don't need that anymore. Um, let's go ahead and let's just check our networks again. So let's go into networks, local networks. We can see we have demo CCTV1 which is on VLAN 98. So what we actually need to do is move away from the settings now. We go back to uh, devices. Um, actually, I'm just gonna quickly pop to the map one second. I can see my CCTV is plugged into port one at the moment of the Unify switch, which is fine. So I'm going to actually set a different port um, to have that different VLAN on. So we go to devices, let's click on the PoE switch and we can see we have something plugged in here, we have something plugged in here and this is my uplink to my UDM Pro, it actually specifies on it that it is an uplink. Um, downlink AC Pro and it just has an all profile and you can see how much power over Ethernet um, wattage it is giving out at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to change port number two. So I'm going to click on port number two. I'm going to click edit and I'm going to change the switch port profile. All right, let's name it. Let's call it CCTV uh, studio and let's go to switch port profile. We're actually going to change it to demo CCTV one and then we're going to click apply and then that's going to go off and queue changes and, and update itself and provision. If you want to change multiple ports you can actually just highlight multiple ports down here and you can go edit selected and you can change the switch port for multiple ports at once and it says here ports four to eight and it has them highlighted at the top so just to show you what you are changing so we've changed port two 
um, and now you can see it has the profile of demo CCTV one. We want to now go and unplug my camera um, just before we do that. I'm just going to show you the clients on here so we can see, it actually says comms room camera, but um, on here you can see we've got 192.168.1.168 uh, address um, which is plugged into port 1. So what I'm actually going to go and do is unplug this um, and plug it into uh, port number 2 and let's see if it picks up a new IP address. So just switching back a bit towards the map layout, we can see this has now changed a little bit. So we have our Unify switch plugged, so the camera is plugged into port two. We have our Wi-Fi access point and we can actually now see my desktop is connected to the Wi-Fi access point. So the more devices you have connecting, this topology will grow and grow and grow. Um, so let's have a quick look back at the clients. Let's see if the camera has picked up the new IP address. Okay, excellent. It's picked up uh, the new IP address on VLAN 98. So that actually means now that it is on the demo CCTV network, which is perfect. So just to show you that you can still access the camera when it is in a different VLAN, we'll go to protect and you can see the, the comms room camera, despite it being actually uh, next to me right here in the studio, you can see it's actually here. So if I go to live feed, you can see it's right here next to me. So just to go over one more time, we'll go back to the network again. So within here, we went into the, just to over, give an overview of what we actually did. We went into the networks, we created our local networks um, on VLAN 98 and 99. So we created those. We then went across to the Wi-Fi networks and we created the Wi-Fi network on VLAN 99. Just go down to here and show you that one. Um, so that, that's changed to VLAN 99, so we did that. Uh, we then went across to the actual device itself and we changed the switch ports for port number two. So if I look at port number two now, it has a profile of demo CCTV one, other than all the other ones that have a profile of all, which allows all the switch ports, to, um, all the VLANs to go through those ports. So just going back to the main dashboard, you can see now we have um, the access point which has appeared in here and it's showing how many Wi-Fi clients or any guests you have access to it. I am actually going to go through how to set up the guest access in another video so hopefully I will get one that, that one out for you guys soon. Um, but we can look at the distribution now and you can start to see there's a little bit more data uh, in here. Not a lot but there's a little bit of data on here because it's not my main Wi-Fi access point at the moment. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If so, give me a thumbs up below. And again, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and I hope you've learned something new on this and you really like the Ubiquiti ecosystem. I'll pass it back now to Cindy from Home Automation X. Thank you, Monty. That was very informative on Ubiquiti Network's Unify product line. I feel like I've learned a ton. Now I left the link down below for Inside Wire's YouTube channel. Go check him out as he is very informative. Now I hope you learned a lot from this video. I know I sure did. Leave a comment on how this collaboration went and if I should do more of them. You can also see our latest videos right here on the side. Subscribe to see more videos. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram and don't forget check out our website HomeAutomationX. Dot com. Thank you for watching.